What's up guys? It is Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and today we're going to be talking about why tarantulas love ping pong balls or if they even do. Um, and if you're new to this channel, I put out videos about tarantulas every single week. Sometimes there are videos about tarantula facts. Sometimes there are just silly videos about me and my spiders. Um, sometimes it's about weird stuff that I've heard about tarantulas. And sometimes it's about research that I'm doing on tarantulas. So if any of that interests you, definitely subscribe. Put out videos every single week. Um, so with that being said, let's get to it. So a lot of people, especially more experienced tarantula owners might roll their eyes at this video and that's cool um i don't mind <laughs> and i know that like this is sort of a controversial thing in the hobby about tarantulas playing whether they love things whether they can play um but for me i love talking about this because this is one of my favorite things about the tarantula hobby and just um, learning about tarantulas is like my own observations other people's observations about the weird stuff that tarantulas do so um i love talking about this regardless so for all of you who have been following my journey and work with tarantulas for a while, you will know that I've talked about my own experiences with Spidey, who is right here. She is my Chilean rose hair. Um, her behavior with toys, um, certain things that I put in her tank and what I've seen her do with them and little experiments that I've done with her. So um, you'll be kind of familiar with what I'm going to say about ping pong balls and the things that I've seen her do. But for anyone who um, isn't familiar with my work with uh, tarantulas, one of the things that Spidey has interacted the most with in her tank is her ping pong ball. And I have given her other things like uh, jar lids, bottle caps, and little stuff like that. But without a doubt, the ping pong ball is the thing that gets the most action, whether she is planking on it, rolling it around her tank, um, putting it in her water dish, trying to climb on top of it, or stacking it on other objects. She does a lot of things with her ping pong ball at very random times. So um, this particular subject interests me a lot, especially with ping pong balls. And while I wouldn't necessarily call what she does with ping pong balls playing, perhaps she's just instinctively or randomly moving things around her tank. You know, I don't really know. I don't think we really know, but I'm not the only one who's observed this behavior in their tarantula. A lot of owners have said that when they've given their tarantula a ping pong ball, they just do really weird stuff with it. And it's very, very interesting. And I think it raises a lot of questions about um, tarantula intelligence, which we still have a lot to learn about, and as well as tarantula behavior, which is something that we are still very much studying and learning more about. So why do tarantulas love or prefer ping pong balls amongst other things in their tank? Like I said, research on this is very, very limited. There's really no scientific data about whether or not tarantulas can play or any final um, information about what tarantula brain activity actually looks like. We are still studying these areas very much. So a lot of it's based on just observation alone. And I would kind of subscribe, at least currently right now, and what I've observed that tarantulas probably don't have the, I guess, brain activity to actually like play per se, but definitely they are curious and have these instinctual drives to explore the environment around them. And I think that one of the reasons why tarantulas gravitate towards ping pong balls and like to interact with them is because it provides a type of tank enrichment for them, especially since they are not in the wild anymore. And enrichment is something that a lot of reptile owners use, a lot of um, fish owners use to kind of make their animals or their pets um, more interested in their environment to kind of keep their instincts sharper. And I think that the same thing could be really useful for tarantulas as well. But whether my tarantula is playing with her ping pong ball or not, whether she's just whatever, moving it around, um, the fact that she does use it for things like climbing, putting it in her water dish, putting it in objects, um, moving it around her tank, I think that does provide her with some sort of interest or enrichment in captivity. And I think that it is a benefit to her. The other theory about tarantula uh, and ping pong balls, and I think this makes a lot of sense, is that perhaps for at least female tarantulas, perhaps it mimics an egg sac for them because it's very round like an egg sac. Um, for some species, it might even be the same size about as an egg sac. So a lot of tarantula owners have noticed that their tarantulas interact with this thing as if it were an egg sac. There have been reports about female tarantulas becoming very defensive over their ping pong balls or kind of looking after the ping pong ball like it's an egg sac. So I think that that is very um, plausible and it kind of makes sense to me. 
Um, I personally have never seen Spidey act like the ping pong balls and egg sack. Um, she's never kind of treated it like one. For the most part, she puts the ping pong ball in her water dish and moves it around the tank. She's never actually nested around the egg sack or um, defended the ping pong ball or anything like that. And I don't even know if Spidey has ever even given birth, um, being that I got her in her very elderly years and I haven't mated her. I don't know what her past looked like before me. But um, so I think it would be interesting to see if a tarantula who's never given birth would actually have this instinctual drive to treat a ping pong ball like it's an egg sac. I don't know. That's a whole different experiment that I think would take many, many years to observe and complete. But I think it's interesting. I think that, you know, that makes sense why a tarantula might treat a ping pong ball like an egg sac. And another very interesting observation about how tarantulas interact with ping pong balls is that some tarantula owners have seen their tarantulas fight the ping pong ball. Um, I don't know what this is about. It doesn't look like they're necessarily trying to eat it or pierce it, but they do tend to kind of, um, I've seen a lot of videos or pictures of tarantulas kind of wrapping themselves around it and kind of trying to, their fangs are exposed and they are perhaps trying to bite it, I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, that's really weird. I don't know what that's about. But there's actually a very, very interesting arachnoboard thread, which I'm going to link to below, um, about this behavior. So I don't know why tarantulas love or are so interested in ping pong balls. Um, I think some of it might be instinctual. I think some of it might be completely random and just part of things that we don't understand about tarantula behavior yet. I do think that it's some form of enrichment. Um, I don't exactly know scientifically, but all I do know is that it's really cute and I'm interested in observing this behavior more um, and even with other objects as well. Um, so let me know what you think, actually. I'd love to hear what other theories are about this or other information and research that I may not know yet. So please share that in the comments. And in the meantime, um, I have found a bunch of videos of tarantulas playing with their ping pong balls and a few other ball-like um, things. So I would love to share that with you. Um, there's a blog post in the description below and you can check that out. Um, it's just a link and it'll take you in that blog post. There's a ton of videos about tarantulas doing weird stuff with their ping pong balls. So definitely check that out. I had fun watching them and finding them for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this funny, useful, or perhaps um, informational. Um, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it. And if you want to get more from me about tarantulas, you can subscribe to my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, which comes out every Tuesday. Um, you can also get my full tarantula guide if you want to learn more about the full scope of tarantula care. All of that is on my website at either the newsletter sign up link or just by clicking on the sidebar to get my tarantula guide and at least explore that further. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.